Okay, how to fall. How to fall and protect yourself. So falling, already you know from falling, sitting down, falling, getting up this way. So instead of just getting up, touching the ground like this, someone knocks you down. So there's enough room to get up moving forward. So you can practice this type of drill. One, two, three. Use your weight. Use your legs. One's tucked underneath, one's in front. Use your legs. Have your hands up so you can get up without using your hands to get up. This way you're un not unprotected like this. Hands up. So ready to grab, ready to block, and then stand up and you're ready to go. So, the other side. One, two, three. Use your legs, up, you're ready to go. Ready to block, strike, grab, whatever. So maybe 10 times you can practice falling. Hands up in front, look at their eyes, ready to go. Okay, this drill. So this time, you trip, you fall, or you, someone shoves you, you fall down. So getting up, you're falling. Already they're too close. So you don't want to keep going forward. You want to keep the proper distance. So falling, instead of going into them, falling. It looks like you see them, they're too close, stop. Get your feet set, elbow set, hand up. Keep this in towards them. Not like this. Feet towards them so you can kick. They move around. You've got to move around so you can kick. Kick them, keep them away. Kicking. Kicking. Move. Kicking. Then when it looks like there's enough room, backhand. This hand, step way back. Keep your hand up. Keep your eyes on them. Up, move away. Then you're back to here. So this drill, falling, looks like they're too close, stop yourself, elbow here, get ready to kick, move, even you can have a partner run around you, let it practice keeping your feet towards them, stopping them, keeping them away, looks like there's enough room, they're not too close, then you get up and get away. Close, keep them away, moving, keep them away. Maybe 10 times with you and your partner, then switch. <laughs>